I appreciate you taking us in, Commander. I was sorry to hear about your team. Fucking ambush. I'll write it in the report. That can wait. New orders have come in for you. Excuse me? You're moving out right away. We just lost three men. Me and Pharaoh need some time to recuperate. I'm afraid that's not possible. Northridge Outpost has gone silent. You need to go there, find out what happened, and... and what? Check if their radio's on? You know that Skynet's been jamming our signal. That may be true, but you'll still need to see to this personally. What the hell's going on, Baron? Look, it doesn't make sense to me either. I could have sent a team of my own. They'd already be there, and we would know what went wrong. So? Why didn't you? Because the order's coming directly from John Connor. He insisted it be you. Okay. So what's the plan? Go to Northridge, find out what happened. Then escort the people there back to safety. Their withdrawal is long overdue. Where it is that you captured a new Terminator model? That's right. An infiltration unit. Our top scientist is running an analysis on it as we speak. Does that have anything to do with this mission? The last we heard from Northridge was that they liberated a group of scavengers, so that's certainly a possibility. I see. Jacob Rivers here helped us capture the new model. He'll be joining you, along with Evans, as per Connor's request. Okay, Rivers. So you can tell an infiltrator from one of us. What else can you do? So you're a marksman. Good. We need sharp eyes out there. Alright. Check the supply crate and gather your equipment. Looks like we're moving out soon. Get ready. We got a long drive ahead of us. Any questions before we leave, Rivers? Why do you think John Connor selected us for this mission? He must have his reasons. He always does. To be perfectly honest, I learned a long time ago not to ask too many questions. Why? He's got this uncanny ability of putting the right people in the right places at the right time. That's a great skill to have when you're the commander of the entire Resistance. So when John Connor vouches for you, I already know you'll do your job well. What do you think about this mission? In normal circumstances, I would say that the mission is straightforward. But I would have appreciated some advance warning. But these are not normal circumstances. Nothing is normal when Connor's involved. You're gonna learn that very soon. What do you think about the team? Corporal Farrow's a good fighter. I've been working with her for years. You and Evans? I'll wait until I know you better. But I'll postpone the introductions till we're on the road. We're approaching Northridge. All right. It's a good time to bring everyone up to speed. This is a rescue mission, as simple as it gets. We go in, secure the perimeter, and prepare the evacuation. I don't want anyone to draw Skynet's attention. We're not prepared for that. We keep our heads down and evacuate those people to safety. What if there's no one to evacuate? Care to elaborate, Corporal? Outposts don't stay silent for that long. If no one's been reporting in, I'd expect to find the remains of a massacre, sir. I think introductions are in order. The Eternal Optimist sitting next to me is Corporal Farrow, an explosive specialist. Sergeant Rivers and I have already been introduced. What about you, Evans? What's your story? I've read your file. You're the sole survivor from the 113th, right? 113th? I've heard about it. How'd you manage to escape? Supposedly he took down a T-800 with his bare hands. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Is it true? Did John Connor select us for this assignment? That's right. I'd like to meet him. Complete the mission and you just might. We're getting close. Get ready. Northridge is up ahead. Evans, give us the sit rep. No signs of any resistance soldiers at the gate. <sighs> Not good. Three T-600 approaching one o'clock. T-600? They're still around? Let's not get sloppy. We don't know what's behind that gate. This is a tech comm mission. I want us to move fast. I want us to be efficient. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Now let's clear the area. Evans, you want to start us off? Affirmative. Everyone on me! Target acquired. We need to get to the basement. That's where they'd have taken their stand. If anyone's left alive, they'll be there. Evans, how's it looking on your side? That's all of them. Then secure the perimeter. What do we do now? We need to report this. Find a radio station, and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Sergeant, found a radio station upstairs. I understand you're not happy with the situation, but for now you'll have to stay put. At least until I discuss your next move with Connor. Is that clear? Yes, Commander. Awaiting further instructions. Over and out. All right. Looks like we're turning in for the night. I understand that not everything went as planned today. There are still a lot of unanswered questions here. But for now, get some rest. Tomorrow will be when the real work starts. Yes, sir. Rivers, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about your performance today. Sir. You're very efficient. Reliable. That's good. That'll keep the other members of the team motivated. Hasn't been that way in a while, so I appreciate your contribution even more. That's it, Rivers. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Sarge, any new orders from HQ? Not yet. For now, we're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what comes up. What do we know so far, sir? I've been analyzing the intel that we have. I got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? Maybe those T-600s took the people here by surprise and put them on transporters. And uh, what we fought yesterday was just a patrol left to make sure they got everyone. I agree. Their presence here doesn't fit this puzzle. But ultimately, the T-600 is a discontinued series. If Skynet wanted to abduct everyone without a trace, why send an outdated model? It's not impossible that an old Skynet army just wandered in here after everyone had left. As you can see, there's a lot to unpack here and questions keep piling up. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which, do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly, as if nothing happened. Even if a lot of shit happened. I'm sure it's because he cares for his people. I'd say that he cares for the mission more than his people. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost. And not doing a good job at it. Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like. Is this where you are? Sarge, I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember, we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. Copy that. One, Sergeant, nine, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated by what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? 
That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell? Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Oh. Um, okay, forget it. This is it. The message was sent from somewhere around here. It wasn't accurate enough to give us the exact location. So to cover more ground, we'll be splitting into two groups. I'll be spotting for Rivers. Evans, you spot for Pharaoh. What exactly are we looking for, sir? Any signs of civilian activity. No one's been in the area for a long time, so report anything you see. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rules of engagement, sir. Fire at will. Let's move out. Rivers, let's go. Where do we start? There used to be a non-military checkpoint at an old command center in this area. That's where I want you to go first. The building over there is a good vantage point. I'll be able to navigate you from there. Are you sure you're ready to do this on your own? Yes, sir. All right, then. Just keep your radio close. Good luck, Rivers. HK aerial flying by. We don't have enough firepower to destroy it, so keep an eye on it. If it searchlight spots you, you're out of luck. I'm at the top. I gotta get view from here. I can see that the HK could be a problem. Looks like this is where Skynet dumps their malfunctioning units. Rivers, I've noticed something. There's a Skynet antenna not far from your position. I think that HK is part of its surveillance. That's why it keeps popping up. Anything we can do about it? It's too dangerous. These types of facilities usually have their generators deep underground. First, you need a way to get down there. So you're saying I need a rope? I don't think you're hearing me, Rivers. But technically speaking, yeah, you need a rope. Found a rope. So you're really gonna go through with this? Word of warning, get yourself some sound decoys. The perimeter around the antenna is littered with silverfish. I see a junkyard close by. If you need some scrap metal to craft sound decoys, that's where you'll find it. Grenade launcher. Nice. Now we got a fighting chance against those HKs. What is this place? From what I can tell, it's some sort of refueling station. You could try sabotaging it if you're up for it. I'm sure Pharaoh and Evans would appreciate that. Destroying those plasma containers will ground those HKs. That's the last one! Great job. That'll slow them down to the station. I'm in the command center. Good. Take a look around and see if you can find anyone. Nothing. We still have the other location to check. Pick up whatever might be useful and proceed forward. The antenna. I see it. Hacking it will grant us control over those surveillance turrets. They're equipped with a second generation plasma rifle. Strong enough to bring down an HK? Exactly right. I see it. I won't be able to hear from you when you get down there, so good luck. Reporting back. The generator's offline. Move back, Rivers. The antenna's gonna blow. Holy shit! That flash of light was you? Are we trying to destroy Skynet? I thought this was just a rescue mission. Apparently not for Rivers. Evans, we've got to step it up. I appreciate keeping the morale up, Rivers. Fuck! What was that? I fell into a basement. Shit, I'm not alone here. Stay calm. Try taking them one by one. I'm getting closer to that checkpoint. It's out of my line of sight. I won't be able to help you when you enter that building. Clear! I'd like to proceed forward, sir. We need to be sure. Just be careful, Rivers. There's no one here. Take a look around. See if you can find something useful. Just another encoded message. Evans, how's it looking on your end? We just noticed some movement. Someone or something was heading your way. We lost sight of it close to the cemetery. Cemetery. I see it. Rivers, I'm marking it on your map. It's close. Heading there now. Sergeant, I hear a child's voice coming from inside the building. A child? Here? Keep your eyes open. I see you're in one piece. It was stupid. I should have known something was up. That's how the machines operate. They use our humanity against us. Don't beat yourself up, soldier. Just means you're still human. I'm at the cemetery. The gate is breached. Approach with caution. 
Sergeant, there's no one here. Evans must have seen a Terminator. All right, Rivers. Time to pack up and go. Check if there's anything that we could use. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> I hear something. It's coming from a coffin. Be careful. Rivers, over here. Follow me. We need to get that man to safety. I've set up an evacuation point this way. Evans, Pharaoh, we got the package. You're clear to evac. Copy that. We'll be heading out soon. Okay, Rivers. I'll take that man out to safety. If you need some time to look around, then this is it. It's up to you. All right, let's move out. They look just like you guys. Same uniforms, same weapons. We thought we were saved. But they led us to transporters that took us straight to a Terminator factory, with production lines churning out hundreds of them a day. So our missing people are still there? Some. Most of them are in a work camp set up not that far from the factory. Where's that? Further north. How far? I couldn't see. It was dark. It was hard to tell. You know what I'm asking. Was it behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. Yes, it was. Shit. I haven't seen anything like it before. They torch everything in their path. I snuck past it after I broke out of the convoy. The ground was so hot, it melted the soles on my shoes. Did I hear that right? We're crossing the Annihilation Line? That wasn't part of the plan. It was supposed to be a quick recon mission. I haven't decided on anything yet. We're severely unprepared. Are you sure that's where they are? I... What's I, up with him? I don't... I'm not sure. Sir, we have to consider falling back. I've noted your concerns, Corporal. But ultimately, I'll be the one making that decision. Now I need some time to think this through. For now, Farrell, set up the perimeter. Evans, you're first on guard duty. Let's clear our heads. Those were the soldiers that died during that mission, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Except they weren't soldiers. Not to me. They were my family. They practically raised me. How so? I enlisted when I was 11. I was assigned to this team of four guys who I was absolutely intimidated by. I was trying to play the tough kid in front of them, you know? Constantly trying to impress them. Looking back, I must have been an endless source of entertainment for them. Was Reese one of those people? He was. Well, I hope deep down he still is. The Reese that you've met is not the Reese I knew. That one always had time for his teammates. The man leading us now thinks only about the plan. But, yeah, he used to be part of the team. With the four of them, I was happy. First time in my life I had someone looking after me. That's what I imagine having a family must be like. Now I'm starting to think that if I get killed, Reese won't even care. He can't look me in the eyes. Hasn't said my name this whole time. It's always corporal, like he doesn't know me. What is your name? It's Charlotte. Anyway, thanks for letting me vent. Sometimes that's all it takes. Rivers, can I have a word with you? Sir. I wanted to ask your opinion about what we've heard today. What do you really think happened in Northridge? Do you think that some rogue resistance squad cut a deal with Skynet? Decided to deliver an outpost full of civilians in exchange for some special treatment? Or maybe you have a theory of your own regarding what's happened? To me, this looks like the job of Terminators. This is what the infiltration units were made for. We're just now seeing what they're capable of. I was afraid you'd say that. I trust your judgment. You had the most experience with them. Is that all, sir? One last thing. We all know what the deal is with the T-600s. They're easy to spot and their rubbery mugs are not fooling anyone. Well, what about this new model? I'm asking you because you're one of the few people that got to look at them up close and lived. So do you think you would know if you were talking to a Terminator?
I believe I would, sir. They may look human at first, but they still act like machines. That's what will always give them away. It's good to hear. I'll remember that. That's it for now. Sarge, actually, I've been meaning to tell you something. I think you should talk to Corporal Farrow. It seems to me that she hasn't fully recovered from your previous assignment. I understand. Unfortunately, that'll have to wait. There's still a lot of work ahead before we move out. I don't mean to step out of line, sir, but that may be part of the problem. I see your point, but I can't risk the safety of my team. Preparations have to come first. You can take a break now, soldier. You did a hell of a job today. What's going on? Ah! What the fuck was that? I don't know, but we're not staying here to find out. Let's go! That thing was an HK Centurion. How the hell do you know that? I saw them work on it when I was at that camp. So, another of their weapons has come online. We're in deep shit. Everyone stay low and be quiet. What the fuck is that? A firing squad. They were waiting for us. Sergeant, I wanted to make an official request for a demotion. There's no need for that, Farrell. The anti-tank mines that I set up didn't work. I feel responsible. It's not your fault. None of this should have happened because we shouldn't even be here in the first place. Easy, soldier. Sergeant, we're about to cross the Annihilation Line, and I'd like to know why. Because you were selected for this mission. That should be enough for you. All due respect, sir, it isn't. Is there something that we don't know yet? What's so special about those people? We've been kept in the dark for too long. Is this how you all feel? Kyle, there has to be more. The last message sent before Northridge went silent. Said that they rescued a group of civilians. These people were kept in cages for years. They were starved, looked like they were barely alive. And despite that, Skynet went looking for them? Why? They mentioned a name. A name Connor wanted to keep his secret. We didn't want anyone to be emotionally invested in the mission. But seeing how we're all looking over the edge now, one of the people rescued was the father of Sergeant Rivers. What? That can't be true, he's dead. He died years ago. Connor got a hold of some intel, confirming that's not true. He's alive, and he's in that camp. Does anyone have any more questions regarding the mission? No. No, sir. All right. We move out in a couple hours. Get some rest. That goes for you too, Rivers. I know this is a lot for you to take in, but I can't have anyone on my team distracted. Not now. Is that understood? We've got a difficult mission ahead of us. I want to know the details. After all you've heard, you're still focused. I appreciate that, Rivers. And you're right. This will be a difficult mission. Anselmo mentioned two targets. We'll start with the Skynet factory. Of course, that means we'll have to cross the Annihilation Line first. Seems like a lot for a four-person team. It is. I want each of us to take a sector over the Annihilation Line. Once we're there, our responsibility will be to cause as much damage as possible. I want Skynet to notice. When it does, it will send reinforcements from the factory, leaving the place unprotected. 
That's where we'll regroup before we get our people out. I know that I'm asking you for a lot, but I don't see any alternative. We all know the risk, sir, and we're prepared to take it. I'm sure you all do, Rivers. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm the one that's asking you to cross the Annihilation Line. It's a tough call, and I'm glad I'm not the one making it. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not completely comfortable making it either. You deserve honesty, Rivers. But if I were to speak freely, I would have to say things that a soldier shouldn't hear from his commander. Get your gear. We're moving out soon. Are you sure Skynet will take the bait? You have to remember that Skynet is just a machine. A program that works according to protocols. And that works to our advantage. They're predictable. And that's going to be Skynet's downfall. Do you believe these people are still alive, Sergeant? The old man mentioned that Skynet took them to a work camp. If that's the case, we're lucky. What do you mean? Skynet won't start exterminating their prisoners until the camp's at full capacity, or when their objective has been completed. These people are valuable to Skynet. They'll keep your father alive, Rivers. We should be able to see it from that hill. I smell something burning. You're just imagining things. Or not. Holy shit. It stretches as far as the eye can see. And it'll continue to move forward. That's why we need to focus on our objective. We have to create as much havoc as we can. I think they've got that covered. We need Skynet to take the bait. Once they do, they will withdraw some of their forces from that factory. And that's when we'll strike. Everyone knows where their sector is? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then let's move out. Everyone in position? I want each of us to find a target. Something that will get Skynet's attention, and then destroy it. Yes, sir. Let's get to work. Rivers, one more thing. There used to be a resistance shelter in your sector. It was probably raided when our soldiers withdrew, but it might be worth investigating. What the fuck is that? Sir, I found a target, but I don't think I've got enough explosives to make a dent in it. Take a picture. I want to see it. Send in the picture now. I see what you mean now. You have to find out what they're using it for. The computer in the nearby outpost should give us some answers. And what about the excavator? Find a way to destroy it. You mentioned an old resistance shelter. I'll see if there are any explosives left that I could use. That looks like your best option. Over and out. I got the explosives. Did you run into any problems? No, sir. Uh, proceeding with the main objective. Explosives are alive! Coming down! Hell of a job, Rivers! Evans, you're hopeless! Now Skynet will know how it feels to bleed. Anything yet, Rivers? Nothing so far, sir. It could be a bogus lead. Keep your eyes open. Approaching the sir. I've neutralized my two main targets. Alright, Rivers. Unless you need some time to finish any secondary objectives, you can proceed to the extraction point. We'll meet you at that factory. All this will be over soon. The intel I found mentioned that the construction of a nearby rail terminal is almost done. You want to do something about it? Yes, sir. Proceed as you see fit. Sir, the recent terminal is already in use. Lots of plasma containers. What do I do? Smash them. Don't leave any behind. Understood. Everyone's here. Good. This is it. That's the factory where they keep the prisoners. Looks like Skynet took the bait. They shifted their security forces. What'd I tell you? Skynet's just a predictable piece of computer software. We can use that against them. The plan is simple. We infiltrate the target building and secure the prisoners. Once we find the people we're looking for, we leave. Rivers, I want us to pick apart what's left of their surveillance. Mark the remaining terminates for Evans to take out. Roger that. What the fuck is that? Blood. I'm gonna be sick. 
Wait. Does that mean... No. This factory's been in operation for a long time. This... This must be old. Rivers. We need to get through that gate. On it. We gotta keep moving. They'll keep the prisoners deep underground. There's no one here. Reese. These cages are empty. There must be more. We have to keep going. What the fuck? This is... Me. I fucking knew it! Pharaoh. To all that talk about Connor? He was on a fucking mission to terminate him! He got me out of that camp. I wanted to thank him. Bullshit. Wait. Did you sabotage my mines? The ones I set up at the hideout? You won't get away with this. This stops now. It's all in here. Evans was not imprisoned in the camp. He was in a research facility. They used his likeness to create a new type of infiltration unit. But... But how do I know that? From John Connor. I didn't want to believe it. But so far, everything Connor has said has come true. That's impossible. Shit. It says in here that the implementation of Cyberdyne Systems Model 102 is finished. What does that mean? That they no longer have any use for those people. We gotta move. They moved all the prisoners to that second location. We won't find any of them here. Then why are we moving forward? Because we need to burn this fucker to the ground. The T-800 production line is live! How about we focus on the ones shooting at us? Twelve o'clock! Where to now? First, let's take out those drones! We need to deactivate those laser barriers. That's where the main generator is! There has to be a computer that operates the laser grid. I see it. Over there. Rivers, get yourself up there. We'll secure the perimeter. Barriers are down. Nicely done, Rivers. Now get down here. We need to go. Rivers! Farrell! Set up the explosives! All right. We need to get some distance between us and that generator. Let's move! I can't believe it. Outsmarted by an outdated piece of fucking junk. A computer program older than any one of us. We need a break, Sarge. Might as well. Seems that all this time spent on coming up with a plan is getting us nowhere. You wanna join me? Yes, sir. The Dark Years. That's what Connor calls it. What we're living through right now. At least I hope it means now. If the Dark Years are still to come... Does he always speak in code? <sighs> I guess he does. I don't understand half of the things he tells me. Even worse, he makes me memorize things that make no sense to me. Messages to people I've never even met. It feels like he's putting me through tests, you know? Preparing me to be part of something. Some grand scheme. So, why do you trust him? There used to be a simple answer to that question. Connor saved me. Taught me how to fight. For a moment, I was even naive enough to think that he prepared me for everything that's out there. He gave me hope. And that used to be enough. And now? Now? Things are different. I've lost most of my previous squad, and I've put the new one in danger by crossing the Annihilation Line. What the hell is all this for? I envy you, Rivers. You've at least got something to fight for. I'll do everything to get my father out of there. But I'll fight for the lives of the other prisoners with the same commitment. How did I know you'd say something like that, Rivers? But that's not all, Sarge. That Terminator factory that we just destroyed, it, it couldn't be a coincidence. What do you mean? I think Connor knew what we would find there. He knew about Evans' role in this whole operation. He certainly knew about mine. He sent us here for a reason. That does sound like something Connor would do. I believe there's a place in this whole puzzle for every one of us. Funny. For someone who believes there's no such thing as fate, 
Connor likes to watch things happen exactly as he intended to. Unfortunately, those things sometimes come at a cost. But I don't think Connor would put you through more than he thinks you can handle. Damn it, Rivers. It shouldn't be your responsibility to talk your commander off the ledge. We all need a break sometimes, Sarge. You may be right. Thank you. I needed a fresh perspective. Now, if you don't mind, I got something to do before we leave. Prepare gear and ammo? No. I need that word with Pharaoh. It's been long overdue. Reese? We're ill-equipped. We're too few, and there's no rescue team to come for us. We're behind the damn annihilation line, and I can't protect you from what's out there. That alone is enough to free you of your duty. If you want to leave, just say the word. But if you decide to stay, I can promise that I will fight beside you through whatever happens. So just take your time. Kyle. We're staying. No matter what. That's as far as we can go. Grab your gear. We're heading out. Based on the intel we got at the factory, we're looking for Sector A of the camp. That's where your father is, Rivers. That's the fire! What do we do about those people? We can't just leave them. I'll get them to safety. You need to keep going. Are you sure? Don't worry about me. Just go. You heard Evans. Let's move! Good luck, Rivers. I hope you find him. It's starting to feel like we're running in circles. Pharaoh's right. We need to get a visual of the target building. More friendlies! Oh, they're wounded. Bad. Reese, we can't leave them behind. Shit. Please, you can't leave us here. Rivers, we have to figure this out. So this is what we're gonna do. Me and Pharaoh are staying here to make sure that these people are escorted to safety. I need you to do a recon of the area, and report when you find the stadium. Running around like that is getting us nowhere. Understood? Yes, sir. Evans, turn that car around. We got more wounded here. I'll be there as soon as I lose that tank. Uh, there it is. Reese, I've got the visual of the stadium. Roger that. Reunite with the group. We need to concentrate our efforts. Copy. This should do it. Evans, new plan. We have to change location. We need to lose that tank. Copy. I'll intercept you from the other side. Can't get close, Sergeant. That HK tank is in the way. Awaiting orders. We need to take it down. There's no other way. Wait for my signal. Yes, sir. Bill, make sure those people stay put. Are the can grenades ready? Getting them now. All right. We're taking that HK down. Me and Bill are going dark. So is Evans. What do we do now? We can't go back, Rivers. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe there's still a chance. We have to at least try. Sir, I know exactly where they are. And lead the way. And Rivers. Thank you. Let's move! The stadium is that way. What? It's in 
fish! There's too many! Let's take them out, Rivers! For Farrell and for Evans. Yes, sir. Watch out. T-800 patrol in front. We have to wait it out. It's clear. Let's go. Keep your eyes open. HK flying by. I hear it. This is it. T-47, I've got a visual. There's enough room to sneak past them. Careful. Clear. All right. Now how do we get inside? There's a terminal. I'll get the gate open. Got it! The gate's open! Let's move! Contact! Open fire! Down here! We'll find him, Rivers. But first we need to open those gates. That's the Resistance. No. It can't be. You've got to help us. You're gonna be all right. We'll get you out of here. That's the main computer. On it. Disable all the laser grids. Do it! The barriers are down. Now let's find him. Let's find your father, Rivers. What was that? Centurion! Get it to cover! They we're boxed in! We need to destroy that fucking thing! The resistance! We need to help him! Hang in there. Move it! Fuck you, you metal cocksucker! Oh, yeah. oh, God! Oh, shit! We're gonna fucking die here! Come on! Not good! Stop the rush this metal motherfucker! Oh, Not 
good. Find your father, Rivers! Frank, have you seen Frank Rivers? Is, is he a human? Dad! You're gonna be alright. We'll get you out of here. I'm looking for Frank Rivers. Is he here? I can't see him! He's gotta be here. I don't see him, Reese! Keep looking! Reese? Kyle, Reese? That's me. I'm Sergeant Kyle Reese. I've got a message for you. I kept it. Dad? I kept it. I kept my promise. I found him. My son. He'd be proud. I am. Today wasn't the final battle of this war. Instead, it was the battle that showed us the parts we needed to play. It reminded us that even if the world my father grew up in is long gone, we still have plenty to fight for in this one. We just need to find a purpose. Something that will keep us going. Even if it's as simple as keeping a promise made to a child. Pharaoh knew that. Evans did too. Today wasn't the final battle of this war. Rivers? But whenever that fight does come, I think now we're ready to meet it. Everything all right? Just, uh, trying to collect my thoughts, Sarge. Understandable. Once we're back in the shelter, I'll put a word in with Baron to ease up on you over the next couple of days. You need a break. We both do. Thank you. There's, um, something I wanted to ask you. Shoot. What was in that envelope? Let me show you. It's a message from John. This is what he wanted me to have. Why? I don't know. Maybe because sometimes I need to remind myself fighting for.